The Theodore Roosevelt Island in Washington, D.C. recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. The island is a favorite refuge for walkers, runners, and nature lovers. This video provides a brief overview of the island and its history. I visited the island on several occasions and used the equipment listed here, all of which were very useful. In the 1930s, landscape architects transformed Mason's Island from a neglected, overgrown farmland into the Theodore Roosevelt Island, a memorial to the America's 26th president. The island in the Potomac River is located near Kennedy Center, Watergate, and Georgetown. The island changed hands a number of times before the Theodore Roosevelt Memorial Association bought it in 1931. The association transferred it to the federal government the following year to serve as a national memorial to the President Theodore Roosevelt. It is the only memorial to the 26th President of the United States in the nation's capital. The Theodore Roosevelt Island is accessible by footbridge from the Virginia Bank of the Potomac and is directly off the Mount Vernon Trail, which parallels the river. An architectural memorial and the restored natural landscape surrounding it together form a living memorial to the man known as the Great Conservationist. A large plaza memorial designed by Eric Gulag includes a 17-foot high bronze statue of Roosevelt by the sculptor Paul Manship. The statue shows Roosevelt with one-armed rays in a characteristic speaking prose. The two large fountains in the plaza are kept running during most of the year. Four 21-foot-high granite tablets inscribed with quotes from the, his writings surround the memorial. A water-filled moat spanned by two footbridges surround the whole area. Theodore Roosevelt was the first president to make conservation of America's natural resources a centerpiece of his domestic policy. Today, miles of trails through the wooded uplands and swampy bottomlands honor the legacy of the great outdoorsman and conservationist.
The island has an area of freshwater tidal marshes. It's part of the estuary. A variety of freshwater estuary intertidal habitats along the island shore is particularly notable. The island is known for a variety of birds and its showy display of spring wildflowers. The mallard and wood ducks are abundant, as well as the egrets are quite common. The great egret was hunting food on this cool fall morning.